What's the deadliest form of pediatric brain cancer? The prognosis for this type of cancer is only nine months and there's not much treatment available. Yesterday, I presented the case of a five-year-old girl who presented to her pediatrician with complaints of headaches, balance troubles, and weakness of her face. Her mom has noted these symptoms for just a few weeks, but it seems to have gotten worse. Initially, she thought she was falling because she was clumsy, but when her face began to droop, her mom knew that something was wrong. I showed this CAT scan yesterday for teaching purposes only because typically CAT scans are reserved in pediatric patients. CT has radiation risk, so in a presentation like this, we would often just go straight to MRI. But what we do see on this CT is this darkness within the pons, a portion of the brainstem. Since an MRI carries no radiation risk, this was performed in this patient that shows a diffuse lesion within the pons. The pons is an important critical structure in our brainstem that controls breathing, sleeping, and balance. Not to mention that all the critical pathways that go from the brain pass through the pons. This patient has the diagnosis of diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, also known as DIPG. Here you can see in this illustration where it is located deep in the brain. This is a catastrophic diagnosis. So let's go through the meaning of what it is. D stands for diffuse, which means it's not contained. That means that the cancer cells grow in and around healthy brain tissue. Intrinsic is just what it means. It lies within the brain structure itself. Pontine means the location. The pons is a critical structure of our brainstem. It controls our sleep-wake cycle, balance, and all pathways through the brain pass through the pons. Glioma refers to the type of cells that are involved in the cancer, the glial cells. They're a type of brain structure that supports the nerve cells. So think of it like the glue that holds all the neurons together. So if it grows, it will compress normal brain structure. It's almost exclusive to pediatric patients with the average diagnosis of age five to seven years old. We think that it happens in this age of children because of the development of the brain. It makes up approximately 10 to 15% of all pediatric brain tumors, and there's approximately 300 cases diagnosed per year. What's worse is only 10% of children will survive past two years. We don't know what causes it. Since it is really aggressive, the symptoms are typically very fast and onset, meaning that there is a rapid development of problems with eye movements, speech, swallowing, and facial movements. There can be trouble with walking and coordination, balance, and even weakness in the arm or leg. It's almost exclusively diagnosed by imaging studies and rarely is a brain biopsy indicated. Biopsies of this portion of the brain can be very risky. As I mentioned before, because it is a diffuse infiltrating type of tumor, we cannot remove it surgically. Well, how do we treat it? Steroids can help reduce some of the side effects and radiation is the mainstay of treatment. Radiation can help shrink the tumor, but typically it is short-lived because the tumor will come back. Ongoing research for DIPG is hopeful that some type of immunotherapy and or chemotherapy options may become available, but right now there's not any good treatments. As the tumor grows, it can compress and obstruct the fluid flow in the brain, and some children do need a shunt to help mitigate some of the symptoms of hydrocephalus. In our patient's case, she underwent the treatments I mentioned with steroids and radiation, but unfortunately she passed away in less than a year. I hope that this video brings awareness to this rare tumor called DIPG and that we can continue to raise money for more developments to help with treatment. As a mother of a five-year-old, I cannot imagine being a parent to have to deal with this diagnosis. We continue to provide patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.